Okay, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a little different because something happened in my life and oh my gosh. The reason why I'm making this video is because I am the type of person, if something happens in my life, like something sad or like you know tragic i really don't talk to anyone i don't really let my emotions show and i just basically hold everything in and that gets to me a lot i've been like this pretty much my whole life where i just hide anything sad that happens to me and i just don't want to bother anyone with it i don't want to annoy people with my issues so i'm always the type of person who I listen to other people's problems and I help them out and I give them advice but when it comes to me I really neglect myself but and I apologize this video is all over the place because um my life is just a mess right now a few weeks ago It's like it hits me a lot when I talk about it out loud because I don't really speak to anyone about it but oh, okay I can't even like say it out loud it's that crazy but a few weeks ago my mom passed away it was out of nowhere um, get it together but it was out of nowhere um she was very young she was super healthy and we don't know what happened it has nothing to do with covid or um the shots or anything like that it was nothing like that and um she's just gone <sighs> it's really insane because i was planning something big in my life and she was so excited okay i'm gonna be right back because i cannot stop crying i was planning something really big in my life and she was just so excited so happy about it and like um the, all the families were just super excited and everything and we just don't know what happened all of a sudden and this honestly has been the hardest thing i have ever gone through And I know I don't have like many followers on YouTube or anything and like I don't want people to think like oh like she thinks she thinks highly of herself or I don't know but I have just been locked I locked myself in and I just I wanted to basically just let my emotions out for once and I thought it would be good to just record myself doing it and maybe maybe i'll feel somewhat okay somewhat better if i just let my feelings out even if no one sees this video even if one person sees it like it doesn't matter to me i just i just want to let my emotions out for once i feel like i'm like repeating myself but i'm sorry i'm just my head is just not wrapping itself around the fact that she's really gone <laughs> but yeah, I I haven't been talking to anyone. I don't want to see anyone. I really do not want to have contact with people whatsoever because I just never thought this would happen. I mean, I always knew my parents were going to be gone one day, but <sighs> but I never thought it would be this early. I'm still in my 20s and everything and I'm just shocked, shocked that she's gone, you know? Like, I thought, okay, like, my mom's gonna be here for another 25, 30 years, you know? Like, she's perfect. Like, she's so healthy. She doesn't eat bad. She doesn't do anything crazy for her health to be, like, awful or anything like that. Like, she's so healthy. She never had any health issues. She never had any diseases or anything like that. So I was like, okay, like, my mom's gonna be around always she's gonna see me get married she's gonna see me have my kids and everything and my kids are gonna be teenagers and she's still gonna be around and then it was just my life 
my life just like paused i feel like i'm just completely numb now like it's just i don't do anything i don't go anywhere i don't like text anyone call anyone none of that and like i remember like a couple weeks i would just sit on the sofa and just stare out the window like just staring out the window for hours and hours and i wouldn't even know that that many hours had passed by like i wouldn't eat i remember um one of the weeks i didn't eat for three days straight i wouldn't i wasn't doing anything i wasn't moving i wasn't going to the gym i wasn't walking outside like there was just i didn't want to talk about it with anyone because talking to anyone didn't make me feel good until um like a week ago i posted on instagram because I was like, maybe someone outside of my family, outside of my boyfriend, they'll, I can talk to someone else that's not close to me. And I got so many amazing messages. I've been talking to so many people and it feels good to talk to people who have lost a mom and who understands the pain and just the struggles of being in such a dark place in your mind. Like, I feel like I'm in such a dark place in my mind and sometimes i'll be there but i'm not there if that makes sense like mentally i'll just i'll be around my boyfriend or i'll be around my dad or something <sighs> i'll be around my dad or something and like i feel like i'm just my body is there but my mind is just not there it's just completely lost i don't know what to do um like I was saying, I would just sit on the sofa and look out the window and every time I close my eyes, I see my mom and it took me a very long time. It took me a while to realize that she was actually gone. I think like the first two weeks I was like, no, she's not gone. Like she's gonna, like she's not gone. She's gonna come back and like, like she's gonna come back and she's gonna hug me and she's like, she's she's gonna be like everything's okay i'm here i'm back i'll look at my phone and i'll be like oh my god my mom's gonna text me like her name is gonna pop up on my phone and it was just really hard to swallow that pill and really take it in like that's not gonna happen you're not gonna get any of that and now you just have to realize that it's really over it's really gone and you're gonna have to live with that you're gonna have to keep her memory alive and it's just really hard to do that right now i don't even want to look at her pictures um i'll go to my parents house and i don't even want to look at her pictures i don't even want to like look at our videos or like anything i don't want to like anytime i see anything i just go f like freaking crazy i get so much anxiety i start i can't breathe and like i just avoid looking at anything that has to do with her and it's just i keep asking god like what is the lesson here what was the reason for you to take her so early so young and like i know i'm never gonna get those answers and like god does things for a reason um I just don't know what the reasoning for this is. <sighs> so hard to really come to the realization that, I don't know. I, Another reason why I avoid seeing anyone is because anytime I like talk to anyone, I just start crying and like I do not like crying. I hate crying. I've always hated crying since I was young. A lot of things don't make me cry and this, I literally cry every single second of the day. I just try to hold it in as much as possible but this is the one thing that like I just, my emotions just let out. Like I'll be just sitting there or I'll be walking around my house and a random memory will pop up of her and then I break down crying <laughs> oh my gosh 
Okay, I, I just wanted to do this really quick and I'm sorry this is just so like weird for me and random but I just wanted to to sit here and spill whatever I'm spilling right now in the moment and I just wanna man I don't know I don't know maybe this video will help someone else too and like they to make them feel like they're not alone in the situation like this if something happened with their parents or just any loved one and I don't know maybe if there's someone else feeling my pain how did you get through it how did you how did you guys cope with something like this I don't know I'm just I'm just confused I don't know I want to just keep recording random things just to take my mind off of it because right now i'm just not doing anything i'm just laying i'll stay in bed for hours and hours i'll just lay on the couch for hours and hours not doing anything i'll just literally stare at the wall and i don't even know it like i feel like i'm not even there i'll just stare at the wall stare out the window and six seven hours will pass by and I'm, i don't even know um I want to keep recording vlogs and stuff just to get my mind off of it just so I'm not thinking about it just so I'm not in a funk I don't go into a dark place you know like there's all these things that I don't know I don't want to go into a dark place I don't want nothing happening to me I want to keep recording doing things as much as possible I don't know just to be myself I did have some vlogs pre-recorded. I'm going to post those after this and then just keep recording more and just, I don't know.